If you've been playing DDR for a bit now, you may recognize this pattern, and if you do, you may already be having visions of drop combos. This is a crossover, and they aren't as bad as they look, providing you know how to handle them. Crossovers are patterns that, if a player is walking, will require them to move a foot over the center panel and turn away from the screen to complete. You heard me right, I said turn away from the screen. This is usually the first roadblock people encounter when learning to deal with crossovers. The key here is to let your torso turn as much as you need and keep your head turned towards the screen. Sounds simple enough, but unless you get that idea deep in your mind, you'll find yourself forgetting to turn in the heat of the moment and wind up double stepping, utilizing the same foot for two arrows consecutively as seen here. While double steps do have their use cases, they are generally more difficult to execute while trying to maintain a consistent speed. In addition, swapping from walking to double stepping can be enough to throw off your internal clock a couple of milliseconds, potentially resulting in a later, or if you're panicking, earlier step. When performing a crossover, you'll expend a decent amount of energy as you are swinging your body from one position to another, but you get to take advantage of the same consistent timing that you have been using for the rest of the chart. Now I mentioned that there are times when double stepping is a better option than a crossover, and they all mainly occur at higher speeds. The faster you have to cross over, the more energy you're required to utilize to assure your foot travels the same distance in time. In addition to requiring more and more energy to start, because momentum exists, you'll need to do the same to stop. Doing this every other note is bound to either tire you out or throw you off through the arrows entirely, whichever comes first. The second use case for double stepping is during bar play. In order to perform a crossover during bar play, a player will have to either twist their lower body or arms more than what is generally considered comfortable, or let go of the bar with one hand. This tends to make double stepping more comfortable and convenient than proper crossovers. Really, each crossover or not depends on how comfortable you are and how much consistency you stand to gain. If you can cross over and you aren't moving too fast, it's generally better to cross over and keep your walking pattern consistent than to interrupt it with a double step. That being said, if your patterns are fast enough and you're playing bar and aren't comfortable enough with letting go of the bar for a second, you probably want to double step it. 